these are horses' hooves from uh, officers' horses, where they've, after the horse's death, they've kept the hooves as a, as a memento, but also perhaps as a, as a kind of memorial to the horse itself. Uh, this one's beautifully inscribed here, Cornet, for 10 years, the favourite charger of Lieutenant Colonel Malden, who was Commandant of the 1st Sindh Horse, a uh, cavalry regiment in India, in the Indian Army. Um, and this one here was, was given as a gift to uh, Lieutenant General Sir James Outram uh, of the East India Company. Um, and this uh, is of his favourite charger, <laughs> what's the name, Blueskin, sorry, favourite charger, Blueskin. Um, things like this seem quite unusual to us today, but it, it was actually relatively common uh, to keep a memento in this way. Uh, sometimes like this, it's just purely uh, a, a decorative object that might perhaps sit on the desk as a desk ornament. Uh, in this case, it's actually a rather nifty travelling inkwell. Uh, so it is something that's, that's both functional as well as decorative. And it, although it seems odd to us now in the 21st century, um, it's not the sort of thing we'd probably do with our own pets today. Uh, we have many examples of these which are, are going to feature in the exhibition and they provide us with some of the most interesting evidence about the personal relationship between officers and their horses. They're one of the very few things that actually tell, tell us the names of the horses. Very often they are inscribed as in this one with Blueskin and this one with Cornet with the names of the horses. So it shows us the way in which horses within the army cross that line between being part of the army and being a pet as well, being something that is, is given a name um, which is loved. And in this, as this says, for 10 years, the favourite charger. Um, I'd like to think that over those 10 years, they built up quite a personal bond.